Good morning, everyone. Give everybody about 30 seconds to make sure we're all in the right place. So I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning for our final session for mobile. It's also our final session for the 2020 year. So I want to thank everybody who's joined us throughout the year. Like I said, today we're going to talk about Maxino Every Place and why it might be the right choice for you and the right solution for your workforce. The first thing I want to look at is the Every Place Start Center. So the, the, the awesome thing about Maxmo Every Place is that it uses your native Maxmo applications. So if you're used to working on your laptop or your desktop and you have a Start Center set up where you have queries that um, are usable for you and you have your favorite applications and things like that, all of that is still available in Maxmo. But of course, if you want to start your session um, and go directly to the application and not the Start Center, you can do that as well, just like in your classic Maximo. So now a few things about every place. Every place is our old friend, right? Every place has been around for more than 10 years. It was the first Maxmo mobile application that came out with configurable screens and such. And it's in, now it's included with your Maxmo 7.6 license. So free is good, right? Of course, it's not free. You have to buy the Maxmo license, but it's not an additional fee. And it's also no additional software or installations. It does have to work in a connected mode. It's not an application that you can go to a disconnected area and then come back and upload. It requires um, connectivity while you're using every place. But it does work with all your mobile devices and it works with your touch screen. Again, it works with all your classic applications. So if you're um, used to using uh, you know, work centers, or not work centers, if you're used to using um, work, work order tracking, that's, that's what you're going to use in Maximo every place. And it's configured, easily configured through the application designer in Maximo. And just a screenshot here of what a work order might look like in the application. Okay, so before we take a look at configuring Maximo, uh, just a couple notes about the configuration. Uh, classic, it uses classic Maxmo applications. So we just use system configuration. We go to domains and there's a domain called viewport. And that's what you can use to um, define the sizes for your screen displays. And then you go back to system configuration and you can use application designer to design your mobile applications. And just to show a couple things um, that you want to look out for when you're designing your applications and your screen configurations. You want to delete any unnecessary content such as buttons that you don't use very often because they'll just clutter up the screen and, and we know that the real estate on the screen is going to be minimized for your mobile devices. You also want to move content um, that, that's used most often up to the upper left hand corner of your display. Um, the, the rest of the information is still there and it'll be below or to the right and you can scroll to that information. But the information that you want to access as soon as you log in and the information that you're going to look at most often you want to have in the upper left hand corner of your display. You can resize and modify the controls so that they're more visible, say if you're working in a low light condition or if you're working with gloves. Um, you can also change the select action options to buttons. So then you're, they're more easily accessible than having to use a drop down menu and, and go to the application. We'll just change those to buttons. Okay, so now I'm going to go live to the application. Give me a second here to share my screen.
And I've just got a, a simulated Maximo every place screen here in um, showing up in my device. And what I've got is the start center. But just like in classic Maximo, I can go to my work orders from my query here on my result set on my start center. So I'm going to go ahead to this fire extinguisher inspection work order just to show you what it looks like on your screen. And again, this is a simulated one. You would not have these tabs up here in an actual live display on your device. But this gives you an idea of the screen now is set up more in a vertical layout than a horizontal layout because it's going to work on your device. Um, you have your work order number, your description. The details here is the long description that you might put on your work order. And if we scroll down, we can see some of the important information. Now, this is set up as a PM for a route. So it's going to have my multiple assets listed down here. And so I can go to those assets or I can complete those assets from here. If this were a regular work order, I would have my list of tasks showing up down here. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's going to look like on Maximo every place and on your mobile device. So give me a second here now. I'm going to expand to full screen because I kind of want to show you just how you can set up some of those configurations and how easy it is. So let me go to my, I hope everyone can see this and it's not too small. I'm gonna go ahead down to my system configuration. Oops, and my platform configuration. And I'm going to go up here to domains. And this is where we can set the size of our display. So as I can type this in here, I'm going to type in viewport because that's where we set the display size. Okay, so I'm going to open up my domain and what you'll see in here is the list of all the different display sizes that we have. Now a word of caution is some of the newer devices have much higher resolution. You don't want to put a super high resolution in your value because then you'll have a lot on your screen but it'll be so tiny you wouldn't be able to work with it. So you want to use kind of the smallest resolution you can to have it still um, render visible and usable on your screen. So you can see what we have in here. I've put in an iPad mini. I've put in an iPhone X, some of the newer devices. But if I have a new device, say I just got in a shipment of Galaxy Notes, I need to add a new one. I would just simply click on new row and type in the size that it's going to be here in the value. So I'm going to type in 716 by 974. Now, one thing I'll point out is that if I put the smaller number to the left, it's going to give me a portrait design. If I have something, say, like this iPad mini and I have the larger number to the left, that's going to be a landscape design. Okay, and then in the description, I'll go ahead and type in Galaxy Note. And I'll just click OK. It'll save my new dimensions. If I click on this again, you'll see it's one of the choices that I have. My Galaxy Note is in there now. From here, I'm going to go ahead back to System Configuration, Platform Configuration, and Application Designer. Now, this is where most of you probably know you can set up the size of your fields and what it's going to look like. Um, because this is going to be a mobile application, I'm just going to filter on the mobile applications that I already have in here. And I'm going to open this tech phone. Now, the first thing I'm going to point out are some of the fields at the top up here. Here's the name of my application that I've designed um, and the description of it. If it's going to be a mobile application, you want to check this checkbox that says is mobile. And then here's where I can select my viewport, the size that my display is going to be. And I can see what's going to show up on the screen when I look at these red borders. That's showing me the, the, um, the parameter of my screen. 
So right now it's on the iPhone X, just for kicks. I'm gonna pick the smallest little iPhone on here and show you what that looks like. You'll see the red border shrunk and the fields got as small as they possibly could. And this isn't very much space, but it's still enough space to work with. You would just have to do a little more scrolling. I'm going to go ahead and click on my iPad mini, which is bigger than either of those. And you'll see that the fields expanded. I have a lot more space. I still have my borders that show me what the display size is going to look like. Um, but it's a much easier device to, to work with. And we'll go ahead and look at what my Galaxy Note came out to be. You'll see it's more um, of a, a portrait. It goes actually down below the data here, and it's a little bit more narrow than the mini, but it would still fit nicely. Okay, so that's really how easy it is to set up Maximo every place on you know a, a multitude of devices. And that kind of wraps up our session on mobile. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this session. And at Starboard, of course, we work on Maximo implementations, and that's all we do. So between all of our staff, we have over a combined um, 100 years of experience in Maximo. So please feel free to reach out with us if you think we can help you with any Maximo implementations or even a Maximo every place implementation. And then just to remind you that all of our videos are available at starboard-consulting.com. So if you wanna replay any of these or any of our previous ones, uh, please reach out to us and, or go to our website. And thank you and everyone have a happy new year.